Hello friends, this is your host Harish Bali from Technofair.com. A quick rundown of five hidden features of Mac OS Sierra that you may not know. Hey Siri, what's the height of Eiffel Tower? Eiffel Tower is 1,063 feet tall. I'll show you how I configured this and more. Siri is here at the top next to spotlight search and on the dock bar. Hold command key with space bar for 2 or 3 seconds. This evokes Siri. You may change that short key by going to system preferences from the Apple logo on the top left. Siri and enable Siri from the left. Here below mic input we have keyboard shortcut. Customize it. I can keep this anything like command with zero is my new shortcut now. To enable voice detection we need to go back to systems preferences pane sound and use ambient noise reduction check this box. A step back click on keyboard then dictation tab turn on dictation and check this box use enhanced dictation. Now we need to go back to system preferences, accessibility, scroll down from the left and we have dictation there, click on it, enable the dictation keyword phrase, write down some word to evoke dictation, I have written hey. You may keep the below two check boxes as check play sound when command is recognized and mute audio output while dictating which is fine. Now we need to go to dictation commands and enable advanced command from the bottom. Then click on the plus icon and type something in the box. I say champ. So instead of Siri, I can say hey champ. So I am typing champ. This is while using any application which is fine. Perform. Go to open finder items. Choose Siri from the applications. Selected. By doing this, hey word will evoke dictation and champ will evoke Siri. Done. Let me now ask some question to Siri. Hey champ, can you compose an email for me? To whom shall I send it? Technofair. What's the subject of your email? Meeting this Friday. Okay, what would you like the email to say? We are meeting at 4 p.m. at your office. Here's your message to Technifer. Ready to send it. Send it. In the Mac OS Sierra, you can also optimize the storage by going to about this Mac from the Apple icon. Then storage tab. Click on manage. This is an easy way to get rid of applications and documents that you don't need. For example, if I need to get rid of some applications, simply click on it. Select the app you want to remove. Do a right click and delete. That's it. In the same manner, documents can also be deleted. If you wish to delete multiple documents, select couple of documents in one go and do a right click, delete them. Picture in picture is now working on Safari. I have used it on Chrome before. When the video is playing, do a right click twice on the screen and enter picture in picture. This works on YouTube and Vimeo. You can move this anywhere on the screen. This screen positions itself only on the four corners. So if I take this on the center right and drop it, it moves to the top. So it can either go to right, left or any of the four corners. I can work on anything and this will continue to play. Now if I need to place it at a specific location, hold on to the command key and take it to that location. Center right seems fine. I can even reduce the size of the video player like this or increase it. In your Apple Mail inbox, you will see an icon of circle with upside down triangle of lines. Click on it and filtered by will appear. It will filter the email by what the blue text says cc to me this one mail 
when you are writing some text on a note or an email we need to put a period after the sentence my name is harish bali i need to put a dot after the sentence completion same thing can be done automatically by the new version of mac which is os sierra for that go back to apple menu then system preferences keyboard go to text and check this box add period with double space let's do this now my name is harish bali space twice and yes it is working space twice i can do the same thing on an email as well Let's compose it hey are you coming space twice and it picks up bonus tip for some reason you want any of the icons to change its position hold on to the command key and move the icon i can again hold on to the command key and move the battery percentage to the last that's how cool and easy it is how was that do share your comments in the comment section below i would look forward to hear from you if you have got a separate windows 10 device and you have not used cortana till now i will suggest you to try using it it's fun i've got a tutorial on how to enable cortana in windows 10 do check that out link is there in the description of this video thanks for your time